All right, so, you know. So this is our 2019 proprietary white wine. It's the blend of uh, about 80% Semillon and 20% Sauvignon Blanc. And, you know, typically in Bordeaux, they blend this a little bit, you know, in the opposite direction. But, you know, it, it, to me, you know, we, we were really, a, a few years ago, we made this at actually at 100% Semillon. Okay. Um, the 2019 vintage was really unique in that we had some Sauvignon Blanc as well. And I was pretty dead set on the 100% Semillon blend. Okay. But my wife, Polly, we like to refer to her as Mrs. Winemaker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. She looks at me, we're sitting at the kitchen table, just sort of doing, you know. Right kitchen table blends and stuff and she looks at me and she just goes let's try this okay. and so she started mixing in the Sauvignon Blanc and and sure enough we just we we killed it on this wives have good ideas they they, they have yeah. good ideas yeah. and even if they don't they do right <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah so so like I say so this is a uh, proprietary white it's, it is a flagship wine it is available locally here at the winery and also at uh, Corey Brothers right? and so we're drinking what are we drinking this is proprietary white wine so this is a blend of 80% Semillon 20% Sauvignon Blanc typically in Bordeaux they blend this the other direction okay you know 80% mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc 20% Semillon mm -hmm. um, but you know this is just where what we happened upon um, in in uh, in 2019, mm -hmm. we had a great source for the fruit. Once again, the right fruit grown on the right site. Um, we had a little bit of Sauvignon Blanc, and you know, typically our proprietary white wines have done 100% right. Semillon. But we decided, you know, Mrs. Winemaker, my wife, right, Holly, right. decided that we would just go ahead and blend in another, you know, let's start blending in some Sauvignon Blanc and see what happens. Right, and, so and, this is, and the thing I like is is this has a real fruity uh, forward taste for mm -hmm. sure. You yeah, know, it, right as it hits you, you, you know, so this is another wine that maybe in summer or spring, Mm -hmm. They're sitting outside in the sunshine, and this would be a great choice. Yeah, and I don't know how much time is left in crab season, but mm -hmm. this is a killer wine. Oh, I can tell. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. crisp acidity to oh, go. Oh, yeah. You know, and then you can get the butter all over that crab, and you know, you know, crab season finally yeah. started. I, yeah, you're making me a little hungry know. right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're making you know, me a little hungry. It is yeah. getting around. Oh, oh, <laughs> so I think I think we ordered pizza for the bottle. Okay, for that, all right. So. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the only thing is I'd have to bottle up some wine to get mm -hmm. some of that pizza, and, and I'm willing to go there. I'm willing to go there. Mm -hmm. No, this is terrific. I love the fruity taste, yeah. and like you say, crab season uh -huh. or or a salad, uh, or even maybe even a fruit salad. Yeah. this would go terrific. Mm -hmm. with. Absolutely, yeah. Because you get you get a lot you get the citrus and and tropical fruit flavors mm -hmm. coming out of this mm -hmm. wine. And Definitely. I mean, just as it hits your tongue. I mean, yeah. you're not guessing what this is. You're like, yeah. you know, right as you taste it, what yeah. it is. Yeah. And, and 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 we like to make food friendly wines. Right. And that that is my mentors. Which for those longtime locals that mm -hmm. went up to the Sierra Foothills, Amador right. Foothill Winery, Ben Zeitman and Katie Quinn were actually right. my me okay. mentors. Okay. Oh wow. And then so when when I actually got the job. Uh -huh. There, I mean, it was just like I was just, you know, a mm -hmm. very, very young, sure, uh, uh, a you know, budding winemaker. Mm -hmm. And my wife um, says, you know, they're really foodies, right? Okay? Right, right. And says you're going to have to learn, right? You know, what now, it's I mean, all about. you know, you say, you say that, you know, that you guys are real food friendly with your wines. Uh, but it seems to me that you have to be. I mean, if you're making wine, wine really goes with food. I mean, if it doesn't go with food, then, you know, it's kind of like maybe what's, what's the point, right? Well, some of the point is what, what does your consumer want? Sometimes right. the consumer just wants to sit down and, and, and right. sip some, you know, a nice smooth wine. Sure. Which is perfectly fine. Right. But where I try to do is I, I try to make a wine that you can actually sit <laughs> down and enjoy a glass, as right. you mentioned, on a hot summer day, nice, right. crisp, you know, yeah. white wine, perfectly chilled. Mm -hmm. um, but then we're just going to sort of bring out, you know, you know, the, right. the, the, the barbecue, and as we work into right. the reds or something, right, like right, that, yeah. You know, you're going to be able to. Yeah, so that's mix true. That yeah, up. I can see that. Where hey, this is just a have a glass of wine type of wine, mm -hmm. and then later as we move to the meal, mm -hmm. we're going to kind of segue to to a red or, or something. Yeah, like and that. I like to make my market. wines in in the way that it can be enjoyed either way. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, you're doing a heck of a job. Yeah. This, 
this mm -hmm. is really really good if you like a fruity wine this i you know i'm in love already and mm -hmm. i don't even like white wine yeah and so i mean this is amazing we win a lot of people over with that <laughs>